Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 562, maximize pre-publication revenue. There's Stanley, got baby Yoda up there. We just came back in from outside where it's cold and it's snowing and there's snow on the ground and it's cold. All right, how do you maximize pre-publication revenue? There's a lot of authors who are going the Kickstarter route in order to hedge their bet and actually pay their way, pay for the book before they even start writing it. Uh, many have the book already written. They just need to wicker it and then see what kind of sales, see what kind of uh, uh, other formats they want to offer. And, of course, Brandon Sanderson being one of the key people who made that happen with uh, the four books that he had written and getting custom editions and getting monthly swag and stuff for those all a, a great example of what can be done before you ever publish your book. Another one is Patreon, where you share chapters or you share other items of interest with paying customers, people who pay subscription each month to be have that one-on-one -on -one with you. <clears throat> the best one I've heard of had some 7,600 patrons earning well over $10,000 a month. Uh, those are some big numbers. That's a hundred grand a year on Patreon alone before they sell the first book. But Patreon subscription service, you get paid well after the the your, your subscribers pay. However, they're still there. You share chapters with them. I, I have one. I share two chapters a week, and actually I share way more than two chapters a week because I write more than two chapters a week. <clears throat> but give it to them. The value effort. I've only had one person pull out. So generally, as I build, they they stay on board. Direct sales. You can do all of this. And this is assuming that you're publishing an ebook in Kindle Unlimited. Once it publishes in Kindle, now you're exclusive for the ebook only. Uh, paperback, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. But, uh, ebook, you can, you can sell your ebook directly from your website or, uh, via book funnel before you publish. And as soon as you publish, you just take those down, kill those, uh, kill those links and, and hey, you got an ebook that's in Kindle Unlimited that you've already sold a bunch of copies of. So direct sales. What about serial sites? Uh, chapter at a time. Uh, Vela, Radish, Royal Road, a number of uh, publishers, or, or, or I should say uh, distributors, who put them out there a chapter at a time. Vela tokens, the first three chapters are free. After that, you start getting paid depending on how many people dump their tokens to read that next chapter. So it might be a little bit different style of writing to keep those readers on board chapter after chapter, but it still gets you, and by the end, you have a book, and then you can do other things with that book. So serial sites. And then, of course, pre-orders. You don't make money ahead of time, but boy, on publication day, when you've got a big stack of pre-orders, that's a nice payday. That's a nice chunk of change that gets dropped into your account on that one day. So pre-orders. <clears throat> I actually, uh, I do Patreon. I don't do Kickstarter. I use direct sales for other books that are already published elsewhere, but not in KU, of course, whether ebook, audiobook, or paperback. And then pre orders, that's my big thing. I put pre orders out there. I keep the pump primed. And uh, those paydays when they hit are really, really nice uh, as we get to uh, drop all of those and get more pickups. The big drawback to all this is if these are your super fans, you're not getting that revenue or not getting that uh, uh, ranking bump. Rank is important for visibility for your book. So you're not getting that rank bump from these folks who 6,700 people who bought your book ahead of time. So you have to build that separately uh, with those readers. And that's why Kindle Unlimited comes in because those are a separate pool of readers. And when they borrow it, then you do get your rank, then you get your visibility. So there you are, pros and cons.